So that was my 2017 favourite song. You are welcome. Unlike last year though, because there was only like eight items in the song, I thought I would talk about those items in a little bit more detail, but also add in a few other things. Cause you know, it's a year, a whole year of faves and there's only eight things. So I am gonna talk through the items that I featured in the song. And then also I've added, yeah, a few, few more bits. Gonna start with the Urban Decay Naked palette. Now, when I first got this, I wasn't too sure. I was a little bit scared by it because it's very orange. That was my initial thought, like, oh, that's very orange. Ugh, there's, like, there's not even a black in there. I ended up really, really liking it. And this is probably the most used palette of the year. I don't know, I think it's because I have blue eyes and my hair is normally like a cooler tone, like a cooler purple or a gray or blue, whatever. And I think that this, personally for me, just creates a nice contrast. Good palette, great palette, love it. So I got a VW Golf at the beginning of the year and this is the first time I've owned a car that hasn't been a heap of shit, that works, um, <laughs> that doesn't break down regularly and also doesn't have vomit in it. Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a story for another day, but. <laughs> um, no, I finally have a nice car that is just modern. It's got all, all the bits and bobs that I need in it, like built-in sat-nav, cruise control, Bluetooth, something that just drives nice and smoothly. I do a lot of driving to and from London and other places in the country, and I just really wanted a car that was comfortable, that I actually wanted to be in. So now I actually prefer driving than getting the train, just cause it's just pleasant. Then we have my Gucci bag, being all bougie. This was a present to myself mid-year for all the stress and planning that I went through. I'm just gonna take some money and I'm gonna buy myself a fucking bag. A nice big Gucci bag. I didn't know if I was gonna be sick or cry on the cashier dude, the guy at the till when I was paying for it. But afterwards I felt just special. Like, oh yeah, look at this, look at me in my Gucci carrier bag. I'm gonna go home and unbox it. It's gonna be great. I love it, it's, a, it's, a, it's something that I'm gonna cherish forever. It's beautiful color, feels really nice. And it looks, it's a staple item. It's very bold. So it's something that I will keep forever and I will cherish and love and just be happy with. <laughs> I have been wearing leather jackets since I was about 16 years old. And I've had loads of different types, gone through so many different types. And I thought it was about time that I actually owned a leather jacket that was really fucking decent. So I got this All Saints jacket. Um, for my birthday, I bought it for myself. It's just really, really nice. It feels really good. It's it's hard wearing. This jacket has already seen quite a lot of sights and had a lot of memories shared with. I love it. It's an everyday coat for me. Jacket. It's an everyday jacket for me. I haven't really worn it much in the winter because I've been all about the furs. When it starts getting a little warmer, this will be my go-to again. Um, but I love it. It's just so nice. Jay Malone, Oud and Bergamon. Again, this is another kind of birthday present to myself. Um, now, with this, with this, oh, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> I don't know whether it's, I like it because I want to wear it myself, or I'm just aroused by the smell, oh, yeah. oh my god, I just love it, so nice, it just, it just smells sexy, Ugh. sorry, <laughs> Look, uh, lost myself for a moment then, it's just so nice, I do love wearing it, but yeah, I can imagine if someone else was wearing it, it's like one of their intense clones, um, and they're not necessarily for men, they are unisex, but that definitely has a bit of a manly smell and I do, oh, I love it. Stella! I have lusted over these shoes for God knows how long. And then I bit the bullet and I bought a pair earlier on in the year. And these have, I've worn these a lot. They are even a little bit like wrecked. In the video, in the music video, they were filthy because we were film, been walking around in the rain in them. So I have given them a little bit of a clean. These have been to so many places with me. I've worn them clubbing for meals out to Asda, to the bus stop, everywhere, I've, I've worn these everywhere. Um, and then because I always like the phrase, treat yourself, that's one of my favorite phrases at the minute, I bought myself another pair for Christmas. This was, I, I mean, this I was peer pressured into this. I wasn't gonna do it, but I did say I really wanted the silver pair and I was with Ellie and Ellie was like, just do it, Ellie. So I did, but I'm too scared to wear the silver ones. They're gorgeous. I'm too scared to wear them. I don't want them to get wrecked. So moving on to stuff that I love that wasn't in the video, just because I can't fit everything in, in a song unless I can rap, like freestyle. Yo, 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 I love all this stuff. Here's some more things. So I, I like this mug. 
This has got to be the mug of the year, which is Wish You Were Beer. It's from a website called Red Temple Claire. It's like it. It's a bit cheeky, isn't it? Right. And then I uh like this was the year of baker boy hats for me so i got one in pink leopard print and then my everyday one which is the black one i just like them i'm, I'm not really a hat person i always feel a bit weird when i wear a hat but this this i'm really getting down with i've got a new vlogging camera which is this this is a olympus omd em5 mark ii now everyone uses g7x g5x whatevs i'm over that i've done that got the t-shirt um i wanted some, my vlogs to look a little bit different like have a different look to them a little bit more cinematic M well maybe not like i don't want to toot my own hoot or anything or just say so it's not but I, I basically wanted a more of an slr sort of style which this does deliver because i've got this gorgeous 1.7 15 mil panasonic lens just makes the perfect image now when i'm vlogging it's a little bit more cash, but it has the capabilities to make some really gorgeous footage. It's got a mic input so I can have this big old boy on there, which is great. Because when I'm at home and I'm talking, it's quite nice to have that kind of crisp, crisp. I love it. It's great. And it's got a flip screen as well, so you can be all like, mm -hmm. But if I'm out and about, I probably would take this off and probably the tripod, just because it's a bit big. This year I was really lucky because I had the most amazing collaboration, partnership, with JBL which is audio. I went to Vegas with them and I've done some stuff with them. It was just really really good so I got introduced to their stuff and I loved it. Like this isn't even hashtag spot on me saying this. I genuinely was like your stuff is awesome. So it's really great when you can hook up with a brand which you're just so in with you know it's just perfect. So this is my baby and this is the JBL Flip which is a portable Bluetooth speaker and they're like waterproof um, They're pretty heavy duty um, and this this one has been with me so many places I also take it around the house with me sometimes I put it in the bathroom with me It's in my dressing room most of the time, but this little guy follows me around everywhere If I'm going on a little weekend away or I'm going on holiday, this is always makes my suitcase um, and my other, the one that I also like, so I have a big one in my house, but I, ha I love this guy. So parties and stuff, so cool because this is the um, Pulse and this one like lights up and you can change the lighting settings on it. You could change the color of it. It's just really, really cool. And what I love about JBL is they have party mode, which I've just hooked up in my house, but will learn to use properly. So I've got various different JBL speakers in different rooms, upstairs and downstairs. So if you put in on some tunes, you hit party mode and they will both work in sync together. So you have music all around the house. So that's worth knowing if you want to have like, if you want to kit out your house with sound because it's really, really good. I got some really cool glasses. So these guys, these are my Dame Edna glasses. Um, they're from a brand called Kite. Now, their shop is in Westfield, Stratford. Stratford, Stratford Westfield. And I went in there because I really like, I saw these in the window. So I went for an eye test. And can I just say, the lady that tested my eyes was super nice. Had time for me. Like, she wanted to chat and didn't, I didn't feel like I was on a convey, conveyor belt. Turns out, I have a lazy eye. So all these times I've been going to the to, to um, opticians and they've been giving me really strong prescriptions for stuff, like mega thick, you know, lenses. Where it, turns out, it's, it's actually I have a lazy eye, that's why my eyesight's a bit weird. So she was like, you, you have a lazy eye. And she gave me some glasses to to help out the non lazy eye because it's working overtime all the time. This was the year of Kiehl's. I went to Coachella with Kiehl's. Learned loads about all their products. Got a load of products. Obviously, I want to feature more than one product, so I'm featuring two. No, <laughs> I, I could feature all their stuff, but I suppose the ones that I really really like and go with me everywhere are the little oils. So we've got the daily reviving concentrate for day orbs, and then the midnight recovery concentrate, which is really really good. So I put this on every night before bed got like a little like nice little lavender hint to it but any of this stuff the midnight stuff in the blue bottles absolutely gorgeous smells really nice and calming and relaxing and i really really like it but i love all of their stuff but these are the things that i use all the time can't live without etc etc et my glamorizer this is the best hair tool for curling hair i i love this it does everything it's it's kind of flat mm, you know what i mean but it just makes really nice curls I can use it on this hair, and when my hair was super long and I had extensions, perfect as well. So it's great for short and long hair. And I do get like 
compliments on how I like my hair curl like in everyday real life people ask what I use and I say it's this and a few of my friends have ended up buying them buying set but yeah the glamorizer the legend the legend that's the glamorizer and then lastly I wanted to finish on things that weren't things so like music and stuff <laughs> movies Paddington 2 went to see it at the cinema twice and cried both times I love Paddington Bear, he's just so nice. Interstellar. Now, although I'd seen this already, I had, it wasn't the, like I'd seen this a couple of years ago or whatever. This, I watched it again this year and it spoke to me. So I've watched it quite a few times this year and I've downloaded the soundtrack, which I'm obsessed with. Hans Zimmer is a legend. I just love that movie. It just, it, I, I, I want to watch it right now, actually. I don't really get it. Try to get it. I'm trying to understand it, like the ending, the theory. And every time I watch it, I end up on Google or Wikipedia or whatever for ages, trying to learn, like, quantum physics and stuff, or the fucking theory of gravitational whatever. Da -da -da -da. And also the ending, like the crazy ending in that di other dimension. I'm trying to work that out in my head, but I can't. And I think that's why I like it, because it's like, it's like it's playing hard to get. <laughs> like, I'm, it's teasing me, I, I, I want more, but I can't get the answer, so I'm always watching it. This is quite bad, but Thelma and Louise this year, first year, time of watching it, and I, and I really like it. It really makes me want to go on a crazy man-killing rampage across America. Two girls outcasted by because of stuff and they end up road tripping escaping just looks fun moana did moana come out this year or last year i'm not sure but i've watched it about 100 times great i could put moana on anytime and be like oh moana like it's not i don't get fed up of it and it's got a great soundtrack moana hey hey and room i watched room a few times this year first time first time i watched room I cried like I sobbed so much at it. It's just such a, it's such a sad film. Emotional and rough. It was just made so well. Like I like that it was, a lot of the narrating was from the perspective of the little boy. You know, like he's naive to what's going on. He doesn't know any better. Like he's never been outside of this room that he's been, that he lives in. Moving on, music. Um, Paramore. I never really was like a Paramore fan. I never really listened to Paramore. But then Josie put on their new album on the way to download. And I was like, whoa, this is actually really good. So I've listened to that like 12 billion times. Always' new album. Always. Always. Their new album. I'm not even going to lie. Connor sent me an Always music video a couple of years ago to be like, look at this. We should do something like this. I was like, yeah. And then I have not stopped listening to Always since then like every day i will listen to it so i listened to their first album non-stop bought the vinyl as well and that was like a daily thing and then they brought out the new album and it was just like whoa that got listened to a lot as well, well my most played songs of 2017 include always paramore places by martin solvig i come back to the places where we found us I... paul simon graceland yeah, Paul Simon was in my favourites last year. We've got Lady Gaga, Guitar Man by Bread. Interstellar soundtrack on here. We've got Alan Jackson. First Aid Kit, Katy Perry's. Katy Perry's Chain to the Rhythm, none of the rubs. I don't really like her newer music. Zach Brown Band. No, well, I'm sick and tired. Cold beer on a Friday night. Pair of jeans that fit just right And the radio on Jimmy Buffett The Decemberists Ed Sheeran The Shape of You Slim Whitman The love song of the waterfall Fucked up Until the chorus. I was actually really surprised to find <laughs> Why? How many times do I listen to the Macarena this year? <laughs> so that was it. That were, those are my 2017 favourites. Um, I hope you enjoyed my song. It was really fun to make and the music video was really fun to make. Probably took longer than it should have considering <laughs> the quality of it. But it was fun and that's all that counts. So yeah, that is it, and this is the rest of the stuff. So thanks so much for watching. Au revoir. Bye.